For today's video, I'm gonna be doing a what's in my Konkin 2019. I really enjoy watching what's in my bag videos. Um, I used to watch these all the time just to see how much can actually fit inside of a Konkin. Also, I'm probably mispronouncing Konkin, but I'm gonna be saying it a lot, so deal with it, I guess. Anyways, I'm gonna be showing you guys what's inside my bag. Let's get started. So this is my Fial Robin Konkin. I got it at the Fial Robin store in Vancouver, Canada. This is the frost green with peach straps. I also got these strap reinforcements just cause my back's always hurting. So I just wanted these for extra cushion. Also, they chafe your pits, which is weird, but they do. I already have two Konkins and I kinda didn't want another one, but I was looking through Pinterest and I saw this picture of this frost green with peach straps Konkin and it had tulips in them and let me tell you that was my main inspiration for why I wanted this bag so badly and I eventually got it for Christmas which thank you Ate RC. I wanted to make sure that this was like the cutest Konkin ever because I really like personalizing my stuff. I will be showing you guys the sentimental value to the things that I use to accessorize my bag. On the front pocket, I have a keychain and a bandana. I went to this light festival in Langley, Canada and it was called Glow. And essentially their theme this year was around the world. So whenever you like entered a new light exhibit, they had like different snacks and keychains for that part of the world. So for the part of the world that I liked the most was Holland. And I got these little clogs because I really enjoy clogs. And then I got this bandana from Daiso. It was only $1.50. I have a thing for Daiso. And I also just wanted something white to accessorize on the bag. I just wanted more of the white color to come through. Um, just because the clogs are the only thing that's white on this backpack so I wanted to pull more of the white color in. Then on the big boy pocket I have two other keychains that they're both also from Canada but I have this beaver his name is Justin Beaver you know I want to hit him up the either buns out weeder but I gotta keep it alive for Selena beauty beauty of the beast beauty from the east beauty from the confederate priest east Thank you. I love my Justin Beaver. He's like so cute. He reminds me of a little gremlin beaver. I feel like a gremlin beaver is me. Me and gremlin beaver equals each other. <laughs> I love this beaver. You know, Canada rocks. Love you, Canada. Then I have this Arctic Fox from Fial Robin. When I went to the Fial Robin store, I saw that on their computers, they had a bunch of little stickers and I kind of wanted one to put on like my iPad and stuff. And I asked the dude like, hey, do you sell any stickers? This man was so kind and he was like, oh, I'll just give it to you for free. We don't really sell them, but I'll give them to you. So we went into the back and he got a bunch of stickers and he got that keychain and he gave it to me. So thank you, dude, whoever you are. Vancouver, Canada, give him a raise, please. I don't know who he is, but he, he rocks. He rocks. I really felt the kindness, so I wanted to put that on my backpack as positive energy, you know? And then last but not least, I have this pin. It is of this cloud print. I don't have a name for him yet, but if you want to leave some suggestions down below, I will gladly take them. So I got this little cloud king at the paper yacht in Granville Island, and I just really enjoyed his message. So when I got the pin, there was a little card that usually comes with it. So essentially when he walks into a room, he commands power. You manifest good things to come to you, and I just really enjoyed the message. As I said before, I really wanted this Konkin to emanate me in a little backpack. So when I saw that message, I was definitely gonna put this on my Konkin. On my first Konkin, I made the mistake of having too many pins, and then I got a little too wild lost all my pins and it was just not a good experience so I wanted to pick one pin to put on my special bag and that was it. Now moving on to what's actually inside my bag. So I'm gonna be starting off with the two side pockets. So the first thing I have is this pencil case. My friend Anisha went to Sri Lanka over Christmas break and she got me some Christmas gifts. So this is her Christmas gift to me. It's this adorable pencil case. I love it. It's like really thin and the fabric is like hand woven. I'm pretty sure. I'm not really sure. I love this pencil case. It just brings me so much joy and I'm so thankful. Thank you, Anisha. Inside my pencil case, I just have some Muji pens. I have these fix on pilot highlighters. 
They're in the pastel colors. I have my favorite pen as of now, which is the Uniball Signo in the metallic green color. I only keep my necessary stuff in here. Then I have this, which is my little planner. I like bullet journaling and it's a fun hobby of mine, but after a while it kind of gets annoying because I did not make a yearly spread when I'm scheduling lessons with my piano teacher and my violin teacher or when I need to write down rehearsals for different things. It's just harder to plan with a bullet journal. A lot of the times I'll forget what page I write it on and it's just a mess. So I wanted to get a little planner that I can bring around whenever I have things to do. So this is my little planner. I got this from Barnes and Nobles. And let me tell you, I searched hard and low. It's a monthly spread so I can just write down all my things. So that's what it looks like. On the other pocket, I just have my calculator. This is my calculator. I like decorating stuff if you couldn't tell. I just put a bunch of stickers that I got from the Philippines on here. This sounds so weird, but it's so relaxing when you're taking a test. And then you just have this to grip onto the back like you can like... It's just a nice feeling, you know? So it's just a T-Inspire CX. You know, we love a math guru. On to my baby pocket. I just have some cash, you know, trying to flex on these haters. I got $2. I also have Fun Dip. It was recently Valentine's Day, if I upload this the day that I'm filming it. And my friend Helena got me some Fun Dip. Thanks, Helena. I also have this. It's my little Kate Spade coin purse. I think it's so adorable. I got this on sale at the outlet. It's so cute. Um, if you couldn't tell, I really enjoy the peach color lately. I also have a Starbucks gift card. Not trying to flex. I got $5 on y'all. In math, if you get a good grade, you get a lollipop. So. I have a quarter. Wow, fun. I have my rosary. I keep this in my bag for safe travel, safe everything, safe tests, having a good time. I have more quarters and my AirPods, not trying to flex or anything. I don't speak broke. JK. Moving on to my big boy pocket. So inside of my big boy pockets, the first thing I have is my ruler. This one is the Muji ruler. Unfortunately, it is in centimeters, it centigrades that stuff and I live in America the only country that has a different measuring system so I can't really use this for any math stuff or any measuring stuff but it's good for drawing straight lines you know then I have my bullet journal this is my bullet journal it is a Loisterm 1917 I'm pretty sure and I just have the Fjall Robin sticker that the dude gave me and a Polaroid sticker this is my bullet journal I just write like my assignments from day to day in here. Then I have my iPad. So instead of books, we have iPads for our school. Then I have my Spanish notebook. This is a five star white collar ruled. Then I have this, which is my big boy file folder. So in here, I just keep all my excess papers and stuff that um, our teachers need to give back to us. So. I also keep notebooks in here, life hack if you are running out of storage. I keep my English notebook in here and my math notebook in here. Um, I was kind of in a rush, so I kind of just like stuck this in here. But I have my chemistry stuff. So I have my periodic table and like all the cheat sheet stuff. I'm not cheating. I'm just saying it's like all our like charts and stuff and I keep them in this clear folder. What's this called? And then I have my actual chemistry notebook. It's from Muji. It's like the double ring A5, AB5. I also have my tests in here. Had to retake that. I have this, which is my Muji binder. This is my AP World one. So I keep a picture of my, my Lolo or grandpa. Today, February 17th, is my Lolo's birthday. And just wanted to mention him, you know. But I also keep him in here because um, whenever I'm like lazy to study, I think your Lolo didn't raise no lazy booty. And then I'm like, oh shoot, I should actually study. So then like, yeah. Then I have my AP World book. Then last but not least, I have my little note card notebook. That was it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Be sure to give it a like if you do. If you like this sort of content, then make sure to subscribe. I hope you guys are having a good day or had a good day and peace.